Well, last night my pump shut off and it was super hot. It was able to turn back on after it cooled off. And now I don't seem to have as much pressure. <laughs> so I guess I gotta do a try to rebuild maybe. You know, barely getting any bubbles there. Getting bubbles out of some stuff. <laughs> getting a dribble there. <laughs> Hey, no. You can see, well, you can't really see past the fishy, but getting not much bubbles there either. Got some bubbling though. But basically, the ones like that there just ain't got enough pressure in them. I can prove that point. Because I have a backup pump right here. All I gotta do is turn the valve on, plug it in. I'm getting some bubbles now from them. As you can see, I'm getting plenty of bubbles now. Because I got the pressure. So, I'm going to uh, pull that down and try using my rebuild kit and see what happens. Well, there's my pump. Here's my rebuild kit. And, uh, basically, I just stuck something in the hole on this end. To plug it up so no air could get out where the pump was and I got my backup pump running over there and I had to uh, release some air I turned that valve on some so I got some air coming through here and uh, I turned that valve on full so I got tons of air coming out of here and I don't want too much back pressure on the backup pump see for a little thing it's pretty damn strong but uh, all my bubblers are working even better than they were before I had a small malfunction with my main pump so maybe that pump's been slowly losing its uh, oof as one would say for a while it is, I did uh, buy it in 2017 Oh, it's five years. But uh, yeah, my backup pump will take care of that while I uh, tear this thing apart. Oh, so I got it apart and it's still ew, like super hot to the touch. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool off because my pump, my room is running fine with that backup pump. And of course, Everyone uses an educational uh, YouTube video to learn how to repair their pump. <laughs> anyway, he's seven years since he's rebuilt mine. It's only been five for mine, but maybe I got too much back pressure on mine in my room. Might have caused the issue. In other words, I ain't got enough air stones running on it. <laughs> Anyway, I'll let that cool off and then I'll start working on it. Well, I got it apart. I don't see nothing wrong with the diaphragm on this side. Seems to be just as good as new. These little one-way valves, they look like they're in good shape still. So maybe it's the problem with the other side. So I'll take that apart and take a look over there. There's the problem. Look at the diaphragm right here. See? It's cracked. So, I'll replace this side. There, you got a better view of the diaphragm. 
there's the new diaphragm and you can see it fits right in the groove real easy and it also has these little nidges here to make sure you got it aligned right too you had one on each side of them on each side of the diaphragm when I took it out so I'm gonna put one on each side I'm gonna put the new piece of this I'm gonna try to clean off a little bit of rust there so yeah it's coming along there we go I got the bolts on there I got a little gasket here on this side I got the same gasket on the other side on that side like there this little piece uh, this little gasket here right we got one on either side of it now when you put this on this piece here you want it this way you want the smooth side against the rubbers not the chunky part and you'll see here see you got ridges and stuff you don't want that against your your diaphragm because it moves a lot you want the smooth side against your rubbers took a little messing around trying to get the bolt in because it was a tight fit but what I did is I put the bolt in first and tightened the bolt up a bit then I took the bolt back off and then I put was had room for the washer and I put the washer back on and then the bolt in and then it uh, all came together good all I got left to do is replace those two rubbers in here and those ones here As you can see, got them here. And the other pieces are around somewhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, diaphragm's fixed. There's the new rubbers in place. And there's the old ones. Probably didn't have to replace them, but since I'm replacing the pump, that's what it's all about. Replace them all. all right, so there we go. All I gotta do now is uh, seal it back up with these little. I got the two little rubber pieces and the end piece that holds them so they don't pop out. There's the old two there. So what it does is go back in here like so and put the bolts together and see what she does. There we go. I've got the lots of airflow. Well, you can't feel anything on camera, of course, but I got lots of airflow coming from both. fixed. It's a lot more quieter with the hoses attached in to cover out this. Yeah, I'll put the top on and see what that does. I right, to put a little reminder on me for a year or two from now that this is the side that I rebuilt. So when I go to take it apart again, I'll just uh, take this part of side apart first. There we go. You get the cover on. It's eating a little more quieter, but as soon as you put a hose into here, you'll barely hear it. They're a really good pump, an old Pond Master. There we go. We got the old Pond Master AP20 up there running just as good as new again. It's eating quieter because the biofrance probably been broken for a while. That's why it got noisy. So that's an indication. The, the diaphragm's broken, I think, when it gets noisier. 
I'll have to confirm that in the future when the other one goes. But uh, everything seems to be running better than it was because, well, the pond masters both sides of the air pump is working now, not just to have a pump like it was. You know, the bubblers are working the way they should. Uh, I'll probably turn that one down a little bit. <laughs> that one's working. Hey, goggles. Hey, boogers. Bubblers are working everywhere like they should be. Yeah, a lot stronger than they were running off the pump. That, that's probably why I had a problem with my air stones lately, too. Because the pond pump was only running half power. Makes a lot of sense. I still got this line fully open. Don't know if you can hear it on camera, but. But uh, that was just a, a backup pump I got from AliExpress for like $35 and like $8 shipping. It uh, keeps your fish room going while you're fixing your main pump. It uh, does a job. Right, Snow? Huh? Yeah? Will you go fizzy? Will you go fizzy? Huh? Who's that, Beakers? Hey, Beakers. He's got a malformed mouth, see? That's why I call him Beakers. He seems to be only able to soak... He can't... I don't think he really feeds off the plant, so... I feed him flakes because he seems to be able to take those in. He doesn't grow a lot, but... He's still alive and he's going. Ain't that right, Beakers? Yeah. Let a deformity take you down, but and yeah, that guppy's been in hard shape for a long time. He keeps hanging in though. Well, it's not a guppy. <laughs> uh, pineapple, sword tail, female. Yeah, I might need to take out some plants that kind of like overgrown in here with java moss. It's like crazy. The fish ain't got room to swim. <laughs> so I'll have to get rid of some of that java moss maybe what I'll do is I'll put some of that java moss over here with booger yeah you can like to chew it up yeah you want grub grub yeah goldfish like to eat plants yeah koi's do too but they can't keep up <laughs> they grow too fast Yeah, but it's nice to, it's even quieter than it was. It's amazing. I'll sleep better, hopefully. Anyway, folks. Wine pump fixed for now. Right, Snow? Did I fix the pump? Yeah, the life support system. Yeah. <laughs> Turn time, you're looking a little thin. I gotta fatten you up, huh? You're definitely not an aggressive eater like the other ones. The other ones seem to get more than he does. She. I'd say she might be a she because you're not an aggressive eater. Are you Tundine? Huh? You're not aggressive, are you? Anyway, folks.
Hope you enjoyed the video.